One product that sells super well on Redbubble as well as other print-on-demand sites are sticker sheets, and they sell especially well if you have it in a theme or a genre that audiences are looking for. So we're going to look at how to create a sticker pack or a sticker sheet in Kittle. It is super duper easy, especially adding that kind of background border. It just takes one second in Kittle, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it for Rubbable and other places like that. But hey, if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up using the link in the description and then you can follow along with me in this video. So let's get started. All right, so we have some quotes over here that we are going to use for our Earth Day stickers. You can see I've already highlighted some of them and you can find these quotes maybe online or you can use something like ChatGPT, which is kind of cool to give you options for different slogans and things like that. And what we're gonna do is use some decorated text that already has effects on it for our sticker designs because they already have some really cool shadow, they've got some really cool hatching, some shading, things like that. And so I want something that's really inviting but also kind of inspirational in that Earth Day style. So I'm gonna use this kind of blockbuster text layout here that already has some really thick directional shadow on it. And for this one, which is saying one earth, one chance, I think it would be cool if we only use the numeral one for the entire design, basically meaning we're gonna make this one really big and then it's still gonna read one earth, one chance because we're gonna put earth kind of on the top right and then we're gonna put chance on the bottom right. So you'll see here a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna type in earth and of course the effects are already applied. So you don't have to do any extra uh, editing, it's already ready to go for you right there. Let me duplicate it. You can hold the Alter Option key and drag, and then I'm gonna put Chance below it. So now I have one Earth, one Chance, and I just need to size up the one. And so now you kind of see what the effect is that I'm making here. Now, of course, we need to do a little bit of tweaking because we've got shadow that's extending far past the remaining blocks. So I think for this one, I think around where it was right here at 18, 17 is pretty good, uh, but we need to go in and change the one to be a little bit smaller. So I know it says it's at 17, but because it's bigger, we need to bring it down to eight. So the boom, now that's all looking really nice and smooth. And we can also give this a little bit of border weight. I think we need to give all of them the same border weight so that this looks very cohesive in the design. And you might be wondering why we're not adding an outline, like an outer border to this. And that's because for Redbubble, it's gonna do that for you already, which is really cool. And I'm gonna show you that a little bit later on. I'm gonna show you how Redbubble does that. But right now, let's go in here and let's tweak our colors. I'm gonna use some very Earth Day, uh, very earthy celebration style colors. I'm gonna use this kind of lighter blue, and then I'm also gonna use a lighter kind of pastelish green. But then let's put some effects on it. Let's put some effects and change the weight and the distance here. We're also gonna change our colors so that they make sense. So we can open up and go over to the document colors, which are basically uh, listing all of the colors that are currently in our document. And then we can make sure everything is cohesive this way. And then of course, change the distance. You can make them fatter, smaller, whatever you wanna do. But I think something around right here feels pretty good. And so once you have that all together, we can go up here and maybe change the black to a more kind of earthy brown tone. Uh, not saying that black is bad or anything. Of course, you could leave it that way for whatever design choice you're doing. But I think this kind of like really dark kind of tree branch brown is, is cool and also plays well with that green there. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this sticker pack tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and then hitting that red subscribe button. And then let me know in the comments what kind of sticker packs are you going to create with Kittle? I'm super curious to know. And then let me know where you're gonna upload them as well if you like using Redbubble or somewhere else. For now, let's get back to the tutorial. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is just use a couple of different quotes here that we had over on the right side. I'm just pulling some quotes in and I'm going to make a little composition here for Think Green. And then of course, I'm gonna do a little light bulb because I think when you when you hear or think of the word think, uh, a light bulb kind of goes off. But I think putting the little leaves in there uh, gives it a little bit of extra interest. It also just plays into the Earth Day theme a little bit better as well. Now we've got one that's nice and blocky. We've got one sticker that's a little bit more retro, a little bit more script heavy with a couple of decoration in it. Again, still using all the same colors. Now for our mascots, as you can see here, we have a ton of Earth Day style ones 
already and we're just scratching the surface you could scroll down on the mascot list and use a variety of different ones now let's make sure he's the same color i'm going to put clean earth happy earth for this one use a little bit of a different font i really like this playful titan font and i'm going to use the anchor point down here at the bottom to make sure that it fits the curve the circular curve of this earth illustration here so we want to make sure that the spacing looks nice we want to make sure that it follows the track and also kind of just place it right here behind the hands and then let's change it to that darker brown uh, so that it fits the rest of the design style that we're going for here so now i put happy earth down there on the bottom and it's all cohesive for this one I'm gonna go with a tree design, kind of a flat illustration style tree design. And maybe for this one, we use a couple of different fonts for plant more trees. So we've got a tree illustration there on the left. We've got a couple of different fonts going into this one. I'm gonna put a couple of hearts here just above it, maybe make the tree a little bit smaller. And then once we feel good about this, now we have a really solid sticker sheet for this niche. And of course, this could be any niche that you want. It doesn't have to necessarily be Earth Day, of course, but this is what we're gonna go with. Just a couple of tips we want to make sure that the background is gone because when we're uploading this to Redbubble, it's going to put it on its own sheet already. It's also going to give you the white outline or whatever color outline you want behind it. We're going to go with white for this one. And then tips for downloading this. We want to make sure that we download it a little bit big because Redbubble already has some specifications for sticker sheets and how long the sticker sheet will be and as well as the size that the stickers can go up to. So right now we can see the export size is a little bit small. We're around that 1500 pixel uh, width, which is not going to be enough. So let's switch this over to pixels. And I already know from looking at it previously, which I'll also link the page for Redbubble down below 2800 right here that kind of helps go all the way to the exact width that they want the largest possible width and then the height of course just uh, automatically adjusts to what it needs to be on the height now we can download it as a png so when you hit png boom it's going to have no background and so here we are i'm going to upload it to redbubble i've just dragged it in over here uh, what we just downloaded without a background and so as you can see it being uploaded now you can see it there on a white sheet i'm going to fill in just a couple of this you need to make sure you fill that all in uh, correctly and i'm just going to disable most of these products because this one right here stickers and magnets you can see it added that white border right so i'm going to go ahead and disable all of the other products because we don't need them and then i'm going to go up to stickers and you can edit this of course you could replace the image with anything else you can go into the settings you can change your prices uh, you can do whatever you want but as you can see here it already adds the outer width or the outer border to it so here is the completed sticker sheet you can see that we just mocked up here for you to see how they might look but I hope you have a ton of fun with this tutorial making your own sticker sheets for Redbubble now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.